So please share your name with me. So I'm Anthony Vita. Uh -huh. uh, this is my home. And uh, you've just been speaking to my wife, uh, me. And uh, we are customers of Brita. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what products do you have with Brita? So I have a pension product and uh, we also have the school policy which actually we discussed with me in detail. Yes, we have. Uh, how did you get to find out about the uh, Britain policies, the, the products that we have? So, I was living uh, my former employer, uh, it was in 2011, end of 2011, mm -hmm. and I had my pension that I needed to move to a personal uh, pension scheme. Okay. At that time, my sister's friend was working as an agent of uh, Britain, and so I reached out to her and she had been trying to get me to get a cover from her. Mm -hmm. So it was just doing her favor. I said, look, I have a policy I can uh, give you. And so that's how I got to join Britain. I didn't get to Britain before that. Okay. So I moved my the, the fixed part of my pension to Britain at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was the sales experience, that whole transition? in terms of um, how she sold you the policy and the follow-ups later on, just the whole journey to getting into Britain. So while she was in the company, it was quite good because she sold it to me and then after that I think I got one statement from her. Uh, but after she left the organization, uh, after today I have not received a statement from Britain. So basically it's, it's, it was just the individual engagement that I had with her. I didn't have, I didn't have anything more with the company beyond that. Oh, okay. Yeah. take a break. Um, have you had um, any need to call or call or contact Britam in the past or even recently in regards to any of your policies? And how has the customer experience been? Okay, I'll start maybe with uh, a little bit in the past. I think three years ago, um, I was curious to see where my policy had gone because our employer, my former employer now, uh, moved their our pension to Britain. And when the Britain team came to the office, they presented on very good returns. I think Britain was offering the best returns in the market at that time. So I was curious on how my personal um, stake was performing. Um, so I called the office, let's say, for six or seven times. I was always promised, I was told, give me your ID number, uh, give me your policy number, and somebody will get back to you. No one got back to me. So I kept calling back and saying, look, you told me last week that you'll get back to me. Up to a point, I guess I, I would forget, then remember after a month or two, then call back again. I would think of going there, but it's just too much work. So somebody always kept promising, yeah, we'll get back to you with your statement. Uh, one time somebody told me, no, this is not a good time to run a statement because we need to wait for the end of the year for us to run a statement. So I said, why don't you give me a statement of last year? I don't want current, but at least up to, up to the 31st of December. Um, I never got a statement. Uh, to date, I haven't got a statement. So, in the most recent uh, past, which is very interesting, um, after I'd spoken with, uh, with uh, Jack at uh, Britain and I explained to him and I think he asked somebody to contact me and they did and uh, they sent me a statement. Now, whatever I moved to Britain was close to a million shillings. Uh, the statement came and my total assets were 236,000. So, <laughs> I was very curious. And uh, actually, when I looked at the email, I thought there must be a mistake, so I called back and asked. And there was an email actually that was sent to me saying, uh, I'm correcting your statement and I'll send it to you. Now, as a customer, that of course sends panic, so I, I didn't see that part. So I called and then I don't understand what you mean you're correcting my statement, because I guess by the end of 31st December, there's just one status which is there. I, it, it gives a lot of uh, uncertainty, mm -hmm. and this is money we are looking for. So you want to know exactly what the current status is. And why I was actually looking this time is because I've just changed jobs, so I'm expecting to get my pension out and move it to my personal pension. Mm -hmm. So now my question is: Is this the right place to take it? Was your the person who contacted you in regards to the email, mm -hmm. did they actually send you an updated statement that showed 
the right figures eventually? So after he, after we spoke, uh, he, he seemed to be on the computer. So I asked him, so I, it can't be because I moved close to a million. So he said, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let me check. Yeah, yeah, actually it's 1.1 1 .1 something. He said, okay, I'm, I'm updating this and that's in this street. Also, you have not received it yet, but they gave you that at least a that reassurance yes, that they do see it. The yes. Okay. So, um, having heard your story as to what's going on with the functions, um, one, how does it make you feel as a customer? How we are relating with you? And two, what would you like to see changed? So how I feel is that I am not important. That's basically what I got. In fact, I remember one call where I spoke to somebody and said, look, if you guys don't run my business, I'd be happy to move it. And that's exactly how I was feeling. I was very, very frustrated. Uh, because all I wanted to do was, was get a number. And uh, what I believe you could do about it is that the members of our associates of return have to start owning the company and owning the, the business because when I call sometimes you call and you're told oh yeah the pension team is at lunch so we can't there's nothing you can do call back later or we take your number and call back so that person who spoke to me might not have the information you have but what I would expect is that person would then follow up to ensure that has who has she given the number or the contact and has that person been called. Mm. That is the follow-up that lacks mm. because it's almost like uh, whatever you're told on the phone mm. or on the contact is just to to finish that story mm. there. So yeah. So and then most of the time maybe you have other competing oh. things and if it's pension you know it's not it's not an emergency. But at the end of the day I could also be having other products mm. that I want to bring in. Now uh, just as I was saying I'm about to move my pension. Now my question is is this where I'm going to take it with this kind of environment? Mm -hmm. So the main reason why Vitam for me was doing well was because of the results that were very good from what I had during our company presentation. But is that enough mm -hmm. uh, for me to be able to move my business or recommend anyone else to bring their business to Vitam?